geeks, this is Pritam here. And today we are gonna be discussing and comparing between open board and Incodo. We had already uploaded a video on comparison between different boards, check out the video link in the iCard as well as the description section. Well, of these two, Incodo is personally my fav. Wanna know why? Then watch this video till the end. We will be comparing these softwares on these key points. 1. Page orientation. 2. Pen styles available. 3. Colors available. 4. PDF imports and exports. 5. Images. 6. Tools and features. 7. Screen recording. We will do a side-by-side -side comparison of OpenBoard and Encodo. So geeks, let's begin. Page orientation. For open board, so it provides an infinite space, you can move around draw, and also zoom in and out. Quite normal, and expected. It also only provides about 6 different page styles. The grids that we choose can be changed, that is you can both increase, and decrease the grid sizes according to your need. So let's come to page of Incodo. Here, we can see that, it also has an infinite space. It also has more than seven templates to choose from, and all of them are free. Background images can also be changed and customized. The paper colors can also be changed. And grid and line sizes similarly can also be manipulated. Pen styles. An open board. Here you have these things to choose from. 1. Annotation pen. Which has only three sizes, large, medium and small, but can be changed from properties. 2. Highlighter. 3. Laser. Ink to shape is not available here, but you get inbuilt shapes for annotation. Yeah. Sad thing is, it does not have anything else. The drawings you create can be moved around. Incodo, as you can see there is marker, pencil, highlighter, custom pen, calligraphy pen etc. Also if you see, the writing here is smoother than an open board. Since we have more than, let's see. Um, 6 to 7 pens with size bars and all. It also offers ink to shape feature. Color. An open board, yeah. Another sad fact is that, it does not support a color palette to choose from, you can only choose from these 6 to 7 colors, and if you change the mode, you get another set of colors. Incodo. Incodo clearly has a better approach in this one. Unlike OpenBoard, we actually have a color palette to choose from, and hex codes to put in. PDF imports and exports. OpenBoard. PDF is opened as an image on the board, hence after exporting, all pen drawings remain on the page, and you can export this as PDF also. There is another way to write on PDF files in OpenBoard. Open the PDF file, and then make your OpenBoard transparent, so that you can write on the PDF. But in this way you cannot export that work as a PDF. Incodo imports only the PDF pages, no other drawing space. So if you want to open a PDF, you can't even zoom in or out, and you only have the size of the PDF pages available, and no extra spaces. Somehow, if you are trying to explain something to someone, on the PDF, like say, an equation or a solution of a problem or any other things, you do on a PDF. I won't judge. You cannot get any other space besides the original PDF page. And yeah. After doing your work, you can export it as PDF, if you want to. One thing to mention, both Encodo and OpenBoard are free, but, Encodo has a pro pack also. If you need, but you can purchase that later on, but the free version is powerful enough to work with. Here, we are using free version of Encodo. Don't forget to comment on, which are you gonna use? Images, OpenBoard, copy paste is available, but not drag and drop. As OpenBoard opens as full screen, so you don't get an option to drag and drop an image to the board. But you can do it just by copying the image and paste it on the board. And of course you can resize that image after pasting it. In Kodo, I personally found that importing images on open board is not as user friendly as it is here. Here you can even drag and drop images from anywhere. Which benefits the user, and it is really cool and easy. Tools and features. Open board. Yeah, so this is this app's speciality. It has like a huge variety of tools to choose from. For example you can choose a compass, protractor, scale, calculator, QR codes, graphs, magnifying glass, etc. 
but I personally think that not all features work really smoothly, and in fact, we don't even have the need to use such things, so it's all cool. It also has a show desktop option that not only can help you show your screen, but it also helps you mark, draw on the screen with pen, or laser. One more thing is the eraser. The lines or whatever drawings you do, is not just treated as an object like an encoder. Here, you can also delete some parts of your drawings and not the entire stroke. It also has an all clear option that helps you clean the entire screen full of your drawings at once. And another useful thing it provides, is that the interactive tools. It has 25 interactive tools. For example, order letters, slider, choose list etc. Mind-blowing work done by the developers. So you can do your own experiments with those tools. Yeah, this is something that Encodo does not have much of. This is like a comparison between Call from Krish and Iron Man. Encodo here it only has like a ruler and a protractor. And another feature of creating voice memos. Yeah, that's it for Encodo, nothing else. So we are gonna give open board two points here, cause we value their efforts to put in so many tools and features, and we really like Iron Man, 3000 times more than anything. Screen record, feature. Open board comes with podcast feature. So you can publish directly to internet like YouTube, or save it to your local device. But the default quality is not good. In one word, Incodo doesn't have any feature like that. So you need external screen recorder to record your lectures. So OpenBoard scored 8.5, and Incodo got 9.5. As expected. Because, both of them are really very impressive. They have different features they excel in. Most of us do not need to use a screen recorder or a compass when we are just taking notes or writing our journal, or anything important. However, if you want our honest opinion, we actually prefer Encodo over OpenBoard for note-taking, cause the interface is much more user-friendly, and has a lot of colors and a smooth pen. So if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel, then subscribe for more and hit the bell icon to get all the latest updates.